hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe like the video share the video comment on the video all of them excitement day if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate you guys thanks for tuning in continue liking the videos sharing the videos all of them excitement day so in today's video i'm basically gonna give you a run through of how to become a pharmacist in jamaica for those of you who may be interested or you might know somebody who might be interested these are the criterias so the university of technology jamaica conditionally accepts potential candidates into the program if they possess one of the following so the first one is if you have CSEC chemistry, biology, mathematics, English language, and any other subject, in addition to CAPE units one and two passes in chemistry and one other subject, preferably biology, zoology, mathematics, or physics. So let me repeat. If you have CSEC chemistry, biology, mathematics, English language and any other subject in addition to keep units one and two passes in chemistry and any other subject preferably biology zoology mathematics or physics then you stand a chance if you now have that and you have GCE O level passes including chemistry biology mathematics english language and any other o level with a b or c passes in addition to the same cap units one and two passes in chemistry and any one other subject preferably biology zoology mathematics or physics you also stand a chance if you even have that and you have other appropriate level of study in a recognized educational institution for example, like a community college, you still stand a chance. Once you have either of those qualifications, then you can apply. So the next step is to apply to an accredited pharmacy school. And as me telling you before, before 2016, UTEC, yeah, the same UTEC wanna call Papin High School was the only pharmacy school the only accredited pharmacy school in the english speaking caribbean right i think ue start well ue started the doctor pharmacy program i guess i can do a video about that later on about the you know comparing the two bachelor of pharmacy versus doctor of pharmacy right so at utec after receiving a conditional acceptance you must then pass a final selection interview and receive a successful evaluation in a psychometric test now a psychometric test is something like it's basically a test of your i would say personality or your critical thinking skills or your reasoning skills you can google it it has to do with personality like them ask some question like if you're the between a rock and a hard place which one would you choose you know something like that right then step three once you get enrolled you apply to become registered with the pharmacy council of jamaica as a pharmaceutical student now to become registered with the pharmacy council of jamaica as a pharmaceutical student you'll need to be 16 years or older so you will need to provide proof that you're 16 years or older you must be of good character you must possess the prescribed qualifications and you must also pay the registration fee so you're probably thinking how are they gonna you know look at you and know if you're of good character in order to prove that you're of good character you will need to present two letters of recommendations from two people like probably a school principal or you know some somebody of good standing where they might talk be nice things about you and say oh 
I really, you know, I can't vouch for that person here. So you present two letters of recommendations to show that, yeah, you're of good character and all of them someday. When I was registering to become a pharmaceutical student, I think the fee was like 2500 and that would have been in around 2015, around that period. So I'm not sure what the fee is currently at, but that's what it was when I was registering. So you provide all of those and you become registered as a pharmaceutical student with the Pharmacy Council of Jamaica. Now, once they register you, right, there's a register that is kept at the Pharmacy Council, which is called the Register of Pharmaceutical Students. So in that Register of Pharmaceutical Students, they'll put your address, your age, your qualification slash tertiary institution in which you're you are enrolled and they'll also put your date of registration so they'll put step four is the hardest part you will now need to complete the pharmacy course of study which is four years at UTEC all right so in year one you do a lot of theory so you do a lot of modules that you know everybody that enter university do so you do like academic writing and you do like college mathematics you do a lot of theory but most of that theory is like common across the entire university you need to do 200 hours of voluntary work in a community pharmacy that's during your second year so in year two, you'll need to do 200 hours of voluntary work in a community pharmacy, right? And you start now to touch, you know, the core modules of pharmacy. In year three, you do a mix of theory and practical. So you start to do a, a lot of compounding, you know, compounding tablets and compounding capsules and compounding creams and ointments suspensions you know solutions pessaries suppositories all of that so you start to do a lot of compounding and you still do a bit of theory in year four you do theory and practical in the first semester you do a lot of theory in the, in the second semester you do four weeks of clinical clerkship you do four weeks of hospital externship and you do four weeks in community externship, right? So the clinical clerkship takes place in the hospital setting, right? The hospital externship also takes place in the hospital setting, while the community externship takes place in a community pharmacy. So you are placed in a particular hospital for your clinical clerkship and also for your hospital externship, and then you're placed in a community pharmacy for your community externship and each of those will run for four weeks once you've successfully completed those then you've basically finished with UTEC at this point right so you're done with UTEC you graduate but there's still some work left to do so after you finish UTEC right you will now need to complete one year of internship at an approved hospital well it's split between two hospitals right so you do six months at a type b hospital and then you do another six months at a type a hospital examples of type b hospitals in jamaica include like spanish town public general hospital savannah lamar public general hospital 
Mandeville Regional Hospital. So all of those hospitals, those are type B hospitals, right? So you will complete six months under the supervision of a preceptor, a pharmacy preceptor at any type B hospital across Jamaica, right? Once you've completed that six months, then you'll complete six months at a type A hospital. Now, examples of type A hospitals in Jamaica are UE, Kingston Public Hospital, and Cornwall Regional Hospital. So the University Hospital of the West Indies, the Kingston Public Hospital, and the Cornwall Regional Hospital are the three type A hospitals in Jamaica. Right, so there are only three type A hospitals in Jamaica. While completing this one year of internship, there is no set order for you. So it's not that you have to do type B first and then type A, or you have to do type A first and then type B. You can do whichever in whichever order, just as long as you complete both rotation so as long as you complete the six months at the type a and you complete the six months at a type b it really not make a difference right so there's no set order to say that oh you have to go type a first or you have to go type b first right so there's no set order once you've completed your internship and you successfully note successfully complete your internship your one year of internship and vocational training then you'll need to pass the final written assessment so you'll need to pass the final written assessment in order to do that you'll need to obtain 70 percent or more right so if you get 69.999 you basically fail the exam you need to get 70% or more on the final written assessment, right? So usually after internship, you get like a one month grace period to basically try and remember every single thing from the day you walk into pharmacy school to the last day of your internship because the, the final written assessment can have basically anything, as I say, anything where you learn from the first day you walk into pharmacy school to the last day of your internship so they basically give you like a one month grace period say try and remember everything basically right once you've successfully passed the final written assessment then you apply to the pharmacy council of jamaica to become registered as a pharmacist